people aren't as strong as they'd like to think. There are many animals in nature that can harm them. Some animals can injure, cripple, and even kill a person. So what representatives of the wildlife world should people be especially afraid of? The blue-ringed octopus. Some people can be very strange. Nowadays, keeping dangerous animals at home has become very popular for some reason, and the more aggressive or venomous the animal is, the better. The multicolored octopuses are becoming increasingly popular in Bangkok, especially the blue-ringed octopus. However, even a single bite of this pet could kill a person in a minute. Nevertheless, some people are willing to take the risk. First of all, they like the octopus for its unusual ability to change its color depending on the mood. But when the octopus is calm, it looks rather nondescript and motionless, gray or pale yellow. Only when it is angered does it begin to shimmer in various shades and also glow in the dark. But many people forget that a frightened animal may not limit itself to a change in color. There's a good chance that being angered, the octopus might start defending itself and attack its offender. This can lead to some rather grave consequences, including death. Its venom is much stronger than even that of the Indian cobra, which is considered one of the most venomous snakes on our planet. The blue-ringed octopus is a small octopus that easily fits in the human palm. An adult octopus can grow up to a maximum of 25 centimeters, weighing approximately 100 grams. The octopus feeds mainly on crabs. It uses its venom to catch prey. It swims over the crab and puts its venomous saliva on it, which paralyzes the victim. The Thorny Devil The Thorny Devil is an unusual reptile that lives in the deserts of the central and western parts of Australia. This lizard looks very impressive. See for yourself. 22 centimeters of short spikes and sharp spines, a horn above each eye. Spikes around the head and neck form a kind of Spanish collar that makes a small flat head look larger. All of its body is covered with spikes and horny shields, even the short legs and abdomen. These creatures have chosen sandy loam soils for their habitat. They can completely burrow into the ground. Their fast movements make it easy for the flat body to go into the sand. Why is that? Why would such scary animals need to burrow into the sand? In fact, these frightening animals aren't dangerous at all. Unless you're an ant, of course, because they eat up to several thousand ants per day. Having settled down near the ant trail, they catch them with their sticky tongues. Another interesting feature of these lizards is their fake head. That's something they won't hesitate to give the predator in case of an attack. Having lowered the real head, the thorny devil will expose the horn-like growths on its neck for the enemy to bite, and that's what often saves it. This could be one of the reasons why the thorny devils were once believed to be scary animals. One could easily think so, after all. This animal can get its head bitten off and remain alive. But what can it do? It has to be resourceful, or it wouldn't be able to live for up to 20 years with all the monitor lizards, snakes, and birds around who are all faster, stronger, and bigger. The Brazilian Wandering Spider But who you really should be afraid of is the Brazilian Wandering Spider. Representatives of this genus are particularly aggressive and almost never run away from danger. When coming across a potential enemy, these spiders take a defensive position, standing on their hind legs and raising their front legs up high. Upon noticing a human approaching, the Brazilian Wandering Spider will most likely try to attack and bite them. The venom of these arthropods is highly toxic. Getting into the victim's body, the venom causes convulsive muscle contractions, tachycardia, a sharp increase in blood pressure, dizziness, vomiting, swelling, dehydration, and inflammation of the skin. These spiders don't always inject venom, and the so-called dry bites aren't fatal. However, they contribute to the penetration of pathogenic bacteria into the bloodstream. The habitat of these spiders is located in the northern part of Argentina, and the central and southern states of Brazil. These spiders are also found in Uruguay and Paraguay, where they are probably brought by road or rail transport. In extremely rare cases, they can also be transported from Latin America to Europe in boxes of bananas, which is why they are also known as banana spiders. 
For example, in 2015, immediately after the New Year holidays, a deadly creature was found among bananas in the small French town of Passé. The ill-fated fruit arrived from the Dominican Republic. The discovery caused mass panic among the local population, which lasted for several weeks. The Asp Caterpillar Caterpillars rarely evoke positive emotions in people because they are strange, ugly, and even repulsive. But this particular caterpillar looks rather charming. But, as they say, first impressions can be deceptive. This fluffy and cute-looking creature is capable of bringing adult men to tears of pain and agony. Just one touch of the Megalopagy opercularis is enough to make it happen. Venomous spines hide under the long, thick hairs. Touching them is enough to cause a burning sensation, rash, and severe pain. First aid upon contact includes applying ice to the site of contact. Taking antihistamines or allergy medication, they help reduce itching and burning. In case of severe itching or difficulty breathing, one should seek medical attention. The Saltwater Crocodile The saltwater crocodile is also known as the marine or sea crocodile. This predator's frightening appearance and its huge size have been instilling fear in the hearts of people since ancient times. This is the largest living reptile on the planet and the largest crocodile. It is also one of the largest predators on Earth. Its size exceeds the size of a polar bear. Being an apex predator, the saltwater crocodile feeds on everything that it can reach. The reptile attacks large land animals such as bulls, buffaloes, and even horses, and it hunts large fish when in the salt water. There is even evidence of successful shark hunting. Every year, many instances of marine crocodile attacks on humans are recorded. In Australia, more people suffer from the teeth of the saltwater crocodile than from the great white shark, but only one or two attacks per year end in death. It is believed that the reptile attacks people not so much because of hunger, but for defensive purposes, guarding its eggs or defending its territory. Predator X There are many dangerous predators on our planet, but fortunately, the most dangerous and frightening of them haven't survived to this day. The remains of a pangolin about 147 million years old were discovered in the Arctic near the Svalbard archipelago in the summer of 2006. The length of the skull of the creatures got nicknamed Predator X was about 3 meters. Based on the preserved bones, scientists have recreated the heads of the ancient predators. The bite force of the Pliosaurus reptile was assessed by comparing the obtained jaw model with jaws of alligators, which have a similar shape. According to scientists' estimates, Predator X could clench its teeth with a force of about 2.3 metric tons per square centimeter. The most powerful alligators have a bite force of about 0.17 metric tons per square centimeter. Before the new study came along, scientists could only approximate the strength of the Predator X bite. If we take into account the length of the teeth of the Pliosaurus, which are about 30 centimeters long, we can assume that this was one of the most terrible predators of its time. And that's all for today, friends. Who would you add to this list of scariest animals? Let us know in the comments below the video. Hit the like button. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.